Hello, welcome, I'm Claire Chater. And I get asked quite a lot, what is a shamanic healer? So, you know, you kind of assume most people know, oh, it's a healer, you know, but they're like, oh, what specifically makes it a shamanic healing? And it's descended from Peru. So uh, my teachings are from the Cairo tribe in the mountains of Peru. It works with archetypal spirits and you work with the four directions and archetypes and it's like instead of just generally it, like in Reiki asking you know the power of Reiki asking spirit um, asking the intelligent light to do something it's more like the archetypes are like then different personalities of, of the same thing so it's like you know asking your mum when you might want some food because she's in the kitchen it's like finding the right person in the right mood at the right time and asking the right questions so what you want done tends to happen i don't know it's like it's a bit swifter and instead of it just being more generalized i find shamanic healing a bit more more specific and i'm more targeted i'm a reiki master as well i do do reiki and um, so I'm a big fan of Reiki. I'm not, I'm not knocking it at all. Um, I think it's a beautiful practice, and it's a, yeah, it's a wonderful technique. And that's, I mean, that's Japanese. So you would say shamanic is more, for me, Peruvian um, or Amazonian tribes. And I also have an Indian spiritual practice where I would do mantras. And um, I spent, uh, yes, a long time with a big Indian influence in um, psychic surgery and spiritual healing and that route as well. So I almost use kind of a little bit of everything. And even though they're descended from, you know, different cultures, I suppose, it's a bit like religion. Everything is essentially saying the same thing. Um, it's just slightly different techniques and I suppose I find the shamanic healing you can really get quite specific and I know in the Indian culture it's Ganesh who is the mover of obstacles and I very much find that's what a shamanic healing will do for you. It's not just you know extracting the disease out of your body, extracting it energetically, it will find the block that has caused it and remove the block so that your body is is a clear channel to heal itself and uh, for me the last block that it removed it was like the the top um off a kind of popping popcorn container i suppose because it was um suppressed emotions and specifically fear and suppressed fear uh, in my body so uh, as soon as the lid came off that for the last seven months I've had all these little fears pop up that before you know before the treatment I would have said no, I'm not really afraid of anything I'm quite ballsy um, you know I've got a motorbike license I love snowboarding I broke my back snowboarding people would call me like quite extreme and I suppose almost fearless so it was one of those ones that just all of these suppressed fears had been coming out of the woodwork and I'm like, I had no idea I was even afraid of that. So it has just been the most magical and transforming experience of my life. And I think it is very important um, to learn from what's caused us pain. You know, whether it's in your romantic relationship um relationships in general if it's finance if it's health you know all these areas of your life if you've got something that's not working for you health wise i believe it's because of a block like if we think of a little beaver and he makes a dam that causes all the water to stay it would then cause stress disease because everything's festering because of this block once you realize what the block is and remove the block then you're all fine whereas if you've just got 
if you just take out, you know, the, whatever it was, the, the specific trauma, the, the disease, you know, take out the specific thing just quickly. Okay, yep, that's what it is. We'll take that out. You've still got the block. Therefore, over time, probably different amounts of time for some people, it might be weeks, months, it might even be years for others. But if you've still got the block there, years later, you might get the same thing again. Whereas if you remove the block, then I, that's one of my, my main loves of shamanic healing is it really goes in there and teaches you something and finds your, but yeah, finds the way that, the ways that you're hindering yourself, which is, which is beautiful. And not to say other healings don't do that, but yeah, the, the shamanic path really helps you to look at yourself as well. And thank you for listening. I hope that you've got some shamanic practitioners that live near you. And if not, give me a message. Because I know a few. <laughs> love, love, love.